I'm Greg Baer, and here you're going to find answers to your questions about how to become an effective, no, spectacular parent. Nearly every parent struggles with getting children to do these three things, which are the same thing. To work, to do chores, to be responsible, which turns into clean up after themselves, do their homework, blah, 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 work. Every parent, like you. So let's talk about this. I have read countless articles and books on how to succeed in business. Business authors and think tanks all claim programs or systems or philosophies that will produce the successes that everybody wants in the workplace. But I have also spoken to a great number of CEOs and CEO organizations and other corporate managers, and they keep saying one thing over and over. Regardless of the business philosophy they use, they can't find enough workers who are adequately prepared for the workplace. And we're not just talking about education. They can't find people who believe simply in working hard. These widespread impressions of management are borne out by statistics, which show that young adult unemployment in this country at a level double that, 100% greater than 25 years ago. I remember 25 years ago what it was like, and people would chuckle at the idea of a 30-year-old man who was living in his mother's basement <laughs> playing video games. Can you imagine? People would say, nobody thinks that's crazy anymore because now it's coming. So what are CEOs finding instead of willing and capable workers? They're finding potential employees who want to know all about their vacation days or feel entitled to work from home rather than asking what would be best for the company, who demand recognition for the smallest accomplishments, you know, like doing their job, the one they're paid for, who are quick to be demanding or offended, who are unwilling to put in extra hours or effort for the occasions that inevitably arise where such extra effort is necessary, and who have limited communication skills in person. These CEOs are not looking for work slaves. No, just employees who are dedicated, who are willing to give the company a value, at least that of the compensation that they receive. And where will these young workers acquire this willingness? Where will they acquire this work ethic, this lack, this lack of entitlement, these communication skills? School? Nah, school's not, not gonna teach them to be workers. That's not the job of educators. If kids don't these, get these qualities at home from their parents, they're very unlikely to ever get them. Without these personal qualities being taught at home, these kids don't do well in school. And then they don't find jobs that lead to advancement and diversification in their careers. They come to a halt, underemployed and incapable of doing anything about, about it. Now, can they learn to be happy from that point? Yes, but wow, is life harder when you're underemployed and barely surviving. Emotional preparedness is strongly correlated with success at work and everything else. What you teach your children right now, whether they're 12 months old or 16 years old, will determine their success in their adult lives more than any other factor by far. And I'm not just talking about career success. Children who are taught to be responsible and to be loving experience far greater success in their personal happiness, their relationships, their parenting, everything else. The greatest single thing you will ever do in life is to surround your child with unconditional love, after which you can teach all the other qualities and skills that I've talked about. In other words, if you want to teach the work, work ethic to your children, teach them to work and to do their chores and be responsible. Learn how to love them. Learn how to love them unconditionally. Go to realloveparents.com and take the training for parents to teach us how to be unconditionally loving and then how we can teach our children all the principles that matter, including responsibility and a work ethic that will stay with them for all of their lives. How fun this is. If you enjoy what you've got in here, hit the like and subscribe buttons and we'll see each other again. Until then, remember that it's always about 
the parents.